Hi, this is John next door with my video tutorial on how to make my paper bauble. There's a picture on the beginning of the video to show you this in a slightly different colour and it's very difficult to see from the photograph so I'm rotating it the 3D angles of this it uses a lot of die cuts and with the right patience it really does look very very spectacular when it's hanging on your tree so to get started I used Spellbinders Nestability's 2011 heirloom ornaments again you can use lots and lots of different dies to make this but this had a nice shape and the actual elongated shape of it makes a really really nice tight bauble so to get started I took the two largest dies and placing them carefully so that they were spaced exactly the same all the way round I use my cutting mat to make sure everything's in line I simply using masking tape taped them together and made sure they were stuck down quite securely now this one has been run through 50 or 60 times and it's still got the original masking tape so it does actually work the next thing to do is to simply run that through your die cutting machine and you will get out of it two pieces like this you will get the outer section which is here which we want to use and then you'll get an inner section now with the inner section you can do exactly the same technique to make a solid and not filigreed centre bauble and I've done that on this card here I've done it flat and I've done it as a card so you can see it's got a nice 3D this is already featured on the blog if you do want to have a look at my blog and see some of the other things I've made it's www.johnnextdoor.blogshop.com mess that one up right we'll get on with this the next thing you need to do is to fold each of the die cuts in half so using a bone folder and a ruler simply find the centre section and score down don't worry if you don't get it right because you can correct it when you fold when you fold you're folding it exactly in half to make sure that it matches up on both sides like that then you simply need as many as you want to use now for this one I'm using a plain blue cardstock and some Christmas paper that's double sided it's important to use double sided if you're using patterned paper as you will see both sides of the paper now you can use as many of these as you want the minimum is eight so for this one I'm going to make quite a loose one with eight of them so I've got here we go one two three four five six seven eight you'll also need some glue dots and these need to be quite strong glue dots mine are quite large like that there we go the final thing you need is a template when you've cut out one of your bauble shapes try and do one from the center piece of card so that you've actually got a whole shape in there again mark it across at half way mark it at half again there and then put two marks equidistant between there and there all I did was measure between those two points and put a mark in the middle right now I'm going to start putting the bauble together I'm going to start with a simple plain blue one and I'm going to lay it out flat inside the hole take the glue dots and the first one is going to be in the centre point I'm going to fold it over and put the next two glue dots at the quarter points like that then take the patterned paper and I'm going to put that exactly on top like that and I'm going to open that out now this was attached at the quarter points so this one needs to be at the centre
Right, once all of them are stuck together, I had a final two glue, two glue dots at the quarter points, if they'll stick. There we go. And then you need to glue the two ends together. So holding them as close together as you can so that they stay nice and flat. I'm using a hot glue gun as it's instant and just simply putting a little bit on and again at the bottom now these will spring out slightly and what you can do is to set a piece of cotton or a piece of ribbon along these two lines so that you've got something to hang it on and what I prefer to do is to put the bauble together first and then sort out a pin at the bottom and something to hang at the top once they've started to dry and go off which I love this hot glue because it goes everywhere then simply bring the whole bauble together making sure that the final two pieces meet correctly popping it out there we go bring those together and then simply go around each one and splay them out just like that pushing the centre together and the end to make sure that they stay adhered and that is your basic bauble you can decorate it in any way at all and one of the things that you can do is to add a very very simple pin to the end just to finish it off or if you want to you can add a tassel or anything so the pin simply sticks down the hole to neaten it off and it's going to take some work to get that in so I'm not going to do it now and there you go one completed 3D bauble enjoy